Why the PRISM Awards? A prism is a device often made of glass and triangular in shape that splits light into its various component colors. We've all seen a prism before. We're probably fascinated by the concept at one point in time. Regular white light goes in and out the other end emerges a little miracle in the form of a rainbow of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, and always in that order. The process is called refraction, yet in spite of all its wonder, it's something we may not have contemplated much since, say, sixth grade science class. That same ambivalence toward the wondrous can also exist in our community and our business lives. We look at our community as a whole and too often just see it as a blur of the same old, same old. The PRISM Awards are designed to help us snap out of that haze. They can help us see that our community, when viewed through a prism, is refracted into businesses and organizations, big and small, old and new, that are part of what illuminates us and lights our path forward. Without all these little colored beams of light, we just go dark. So it is that we hope that the PRISM Awards will help enliven our sense of wonder and appreciation of the hard work, perseverance, and dedication going on around us every single day. And what better place to look through a prism than here in the Glass City. We won the PRISM Award in 2003 and again in 2010. And what a great honor to be recognized by your peers in the community, especially when the criteria were teamwork, creating jobs, operating a safe workplace, innovation, all things that are important to AA Bose as a company who have been in business for 65 years in Oregon. We love the community and this is a reflection of that. Since receiving our PRISM Awards, we have won the 2013 National Safety Excellence Award through the Associated General Contractors. We also won the Build Ohio Award for our work on the Gatekeeper Roller Coaster. And recently, we're named the number one midsize business to work for in the Toledo region by the Toledo Blade. All distinctions that we believe were springboarded by the PRISM Award. The PRISM Award has also evolved through the years, and you'll notice that there are a few different categories today, starting from your first time in business, a brand new business starting, up to a business that's only been under five years. Then you can go through the 25 years and on up. And in our community, you should notice, too, that there are several businesses from the startup to those that have only been here less than five years, and so many that have been here 25 years and more in our 100 years. It is truly heartwarming and amazing to me to think that now I can say that I've been in business over 25 years. I've not only seen the growth of my family, but I've seen the growth of my business. I've seen the growth in our community. Um, I've also been privileged to help the community, I believe, by my involvement on different boards um, and helping different charities and organizations. Um, I also just lately applied for the uh, women-owned business company and was awarded the certification of the WBE. I have the privilege now of my youngest son, Scott, who was a year and a half when we started the business, to be working with me. Uh, my older son has worked with me and my husband's always on call. Um, I still thank uh, my mom and my father for taking the courage to loan us $5,000 years ago to say you could do it. And uh, my dear dad has been gone now for a while, but my mother, who just turned 96, is still with us and had worked with us till she was 86. I feel very blessed to not only have the family, the employees that I have, but to be able to service the community. Um, and I thank all of you, too, as my clients out there, so many of you. And if you're not, please stop by, and I'll tell you why you should be. Thank you very much. I am honored here tonight. Good evening. I'm Roger Dodsworth, uh, and I'm proud to say I was uh, surprised with the uh, Person of the Year Award in 2013. Uh, we were sitting uh, at a table with the rest of the folks uh, from the Family Center at uh, last year's meeting, and I heard Chris Peterson talking. She was doing a bio on the winner of that award. And when I heard her mention somebody had been somewhere for 25 years, I got a pretty good idea that they might be talking about me because there's a rumor going around I've actually worked here for 29 years at the time. 
and I'm working on 30 now. And I must say I haven't had a greater experience in my whole entire being than working here for all this time. It's been a great pleasure and a great honor. You may see some of the people on the wall here who have been with the East Toledo Family Center in one capacity or another over the past years. Uh, many of these people were at the Family Center when the building was on uh, Final Street and they called this the Hoover House. And at the Hoover House, these people when they were younger would come and play in the sandbox. And they do the maypole, run around the maypole with different colored ribbons. And they had boys dances and girls dances all at the same time, but you wouldn't know it because they were at opposite ends of the gym. They also had a little basketball program. Scouts, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, Rocket Club, they stayed involved. They were busy kids, they were happy kids, and they made lots of friends down there. So they decided one day to start a scholarship activity, a scholarship dinner for Warren Densmore in his memory. He was their, oh, their home away from home father at the time. And that has progressed from that group of individuals honoring them uh, for their accomplishments through life, all the way down the hall here to people who have just been around for a little while since the Family Center here on Barland has been in place, and that was 1971. So this wall of people, this, this picture of history, is, it's great to be a part of this organization. I don't know what kind of uh, community we would have here in East Toledo if it hadn't been for the East Toledo Family Center, who incidentally is approximately 114 years old now. Started out as a church meeting on Sundays and uh, down by the tracks on Oakdale. Moved into the settlement house and even had the first telephone in the neighborhood way back when telephones began. Of course, we have them in our pockets now, but uh, We've progressed, we've moved on with people and generations and generations coming back, doing the things that they have done. Basketball programs, marching band, community programs, social assistance activities, whatever the community needs, this organization seems to be here to make sure they can provide it for our community. And I hope, I really hope we can continue with this award, this person of the year, I don't know why a guy like me is here talking to you, but somebody thought that maybe they should recognize the activities that go on here and the service that I've offered to the community. And I hope to continue that too, but this organization has to continue for our community to be safe and wholesome again. Thank you.